Hello my scorpions. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get right into it. You know the deal. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. If you have questions about booking a personal reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. Okay. Um, you may need to put something down to focus on something else. I got that. Like, there might be something that you're focusing on that's distracting you from what you really need to be focusing on. So you need to put that down. Scorpio, what are you doing? <laughs> no, you're looking pretty good here. Um, you got door to spirit. So um, you're being guided in a specific direction. There's going to be a new door opening for you if it has not already. Uh, you're going to be putting a lot of work into this. I think it'll kind of come out of nowhere, actually. You know, the, the acceleration, the change of what you're doing will come quickly, if, if that makes sense. Like out of just one day, the door is going to open to something new. You will put a lot of work into it and it will take time. But you definitely, um, that should be coming up. But I see that you guys have been working hard for a while on and doing a lot of inner searching. Some of you may be studying or trying to master something. There's something you do by yourself. You're very good at it and you will be, um, the public will love it. If you didn't know that already, it will be a success because you've mastered something or you will because you're putting so much work into it that it's inevitable almost. You know, some of you, you know, this is the car, the hermit, the mason here. So yeah, I feel like whatever you're studying, whatever you're figuring out in your mind, Whatever you're putting a lot of work into, you were guided to do that. This is a spiritually guided thing, you know, something that you were meant to do. Okay, so I know I beat that into the ground. Do you get it? <laughs> okay, success here in this, okay? Um, you also got goddess of the moon. You're very intuitive, but you always are. I think that I just love this card. I think she's beautiful. And um, she's calm. She knows a lot of things. She's come to a lot of realizations. But she sits with them and deals with them like an empress here as you're coming up as the empress. Taking on a very strong energy business-wise, people look at you well if you're in the public eye or if you deal with other people often. They think that you're fabulous, you're beautiful, you're a star. There's one person in particular. You, If you have not met this individual, you will meet them in a public setting and um, a social event for some of you. This could be very high-end. Um, clientele type of deal they they will <laughs> they coming up in as a water sign doesn't have to be but it could be another fellow water sign or perhaps an Aquarius here I have a uh, several Aquarian cards but they will come at you all romance they're gonna pick you out of the group they're gonna see you out of um, Actually, they won't even notice anyone else. This is how appealing you are to this individual. And uh, they want to offer you love. Some loving for the Scorpio. I do feel like they are a little bit more Im immature than you. You are more, you could be actually older or just more well learned than this person. But this could be kind of a magical type of interaction or connection. I feel like there's going to be a spark. If you already know this person, then you could just be going out with them and, and, and you're going to look. I mean, they just think really highly of you. Whoever this individual is right here. This Knight of Cups, man, he is loving Scorpio. <laughs> loving the Scorpio. So you got the um, Archangel Metatron as well. So again, intuition on point. There's some sort of change that's, you may instinctively, now let me say, if you think something is wrong, or your intuition is right, 
there is a change that's going to come. And I keep wanting to say like a legal matter. So for those of you that are in a legal matter, there's going to be justice will go in your favor, but you intuitively already know this. So that's what I'm trying to say is like you intuitively already know the way that karma or the universe is going to take something in. It could have to do with communication or Internet. Um messages could come in a lot at nighttime or nighttime could be very busy but I just am sensing a, a strong this is a little bit murky for me I apologize I I do sense that whatever this is you already kind of knew it was going to work out this way anyway there could be information being left out or an earth sign could have perhaps left information out to you but you know that this could be past or present it's like somebody like leaves details out, but that's not new news to you. I already can sense that by looking at the cards. You're the Empress with the Archangel Metatron. Good luck getting anything past the Scorpion. You've got Archangel Michael here, so you do have the strength. You will have stability in your foundation, so don't worry about that. It's coming across strong. You have two Archangels watching over you. Um this week or there could be two males that are very significant in your life as well i am getting one would be um much older and have a little more wisdom and the other one's young and kind of like feisty and and just i i feel like these two gentlemen are significant to you they're by your side they have your back you know not only do the archangel are the archangels watching over you i am getting the message a message of like that masculine energy two of them strongly are they're very loyal to you this is family friend whatever i feel like there's going to be um for those of you that are in a commitment i feel as if that commitment um there's going to be a change i think it's going to kind of level up if that makes sense Somebody sees you as wife material or you see someone else as wife material and they may not be revealing this to you yet. They're kind of like, they don't say everything, this person. They kind of have, there's a mysterious way about them to you, but they kind of, I'm getting really, I mean, this is ending on a very strong note, 10 of cups and four of wands. So for those, you know, home, foundation, commitment, I'm feeling like a specific partnership. This is going to have a very refreshing feel. Um, it's taken, it's going to take a lot of strength, but I think that this will, this relationship is going to advance into a new level from whatever level you were in right now, whether that's adding an addition to the family, uh, moving in together, just making it a little bit more, um, a little more binded and I keep wanting to say contract so you know but I think you will move forward with this you're manifesting you're manifesting a whole different direction and you are going to be going towards that I think you just have to make sure that you don't um don't doubt your manifestations. Don't doubt the direction that you're going towards. Just focus on it. You know what I mean? Because this is great energy for you, Scorpio. And Scorpio readings can be a little bit, uh, you know, I will say there is an individual that's very envious of you. Extremely. I kept, kept kind of coming up in the pre-shuffle. So there is somebody here, but I see why. I mean, you're going to really amp it up. Something's going to amp up for you. A change is coming. You've done, for those of the Scorpios that this resonates for, you've done good karmic work. You know, you've, you've been humble in the moments that you needed to despite harsh energies constantly attacking you. So you're being watched over and you, and you can do this. You can do, you know, this is very stable energy. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Some of you may be moving into a new house, getting a nicer home. I just see stepping up here. I don't see the Ten of Pentacles and tons and tons of Pentacles. But I feel like there's a general push for energy of change that's going to make you more stable. And this could very much have to do with another individual in your life. Um, I'm feeling some happiness here. Definitely. 
Okay, so, so what are we happy about? Something in the home is gonna be a little bit more peaceful or a change of home or something. I'm not sure, dear. All right, so I'm gonna do something really quick. I'm gonna pull a card for you and for who you're dealing with. Take what side or what, um, what energy feels right for you. I'll pick and designate a side, but again, you can flip flop it if you want. Romantic or not, whoever's relevant and whoever resonates, okay? Uh, show me what's going on for Scorpio and who they're dealing with, please. Scorpio and who they're dealing with. Scorpio and who they're dealing with really quick, please. A lot of communication coming back and forth between you and this person. Um, okay, I need to be quiet here. And if you're waiting for them to come to you, they will. For those of you, if they're out of town or something. Uh, they just wanted me to say that. Okay, energy for Scorpio, please. Okay, you gave me three cards, so you have a lot to say. Uh, I feel as if maybe you're struggling with your emotions and your logical side here. I think you are flexing both sides. But there's something that's like you either have a lot to do. I do feel like you have a lot to do, but there's also a lot you're trying to deal with in your head that you're trying to figure out. And there could be some confusion because I am getting off the bat that it's like you're kind of back and forth between being logical and emotional. And you're n you're trying to find that balance because um, you ha you're able to be both. You're very, very strong. This is a strong energy. So you're not coming across weak. It's just there's something like it's hard for you to keep your emotions in check I'm getting right now. Um, all right, so who Scorpio's dealing with, please? Show me who Scorpio's dealing with, please. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, um, you're dealing with somebody who you view as a wish here. They could be another water sign or earth. But you, the, with the star card here, they could be healing as well. Give me another card for this person Scorpio's dealing with. But I think um, they could have star-like qualities as well. I'm getting music for um, some people. But I think this individual is healing from dealing with an air sign I'm getting in the past. But th there is a general healing going on between the both of you as well. Another card for the person that Scorpio is dealing with, please. Um, they could wait on you, for you to respond. I feel like there's passionate messages that are exchanged back and forth between you two. Um... I don't know why, but I feel like they're not always with you. Like they're coming. If you're waiting for them to come, they are coming back. They're coming back soon. I don't know why I want to say that. Okay, so another card for Scorpio, please. Another card for Scorpio. All right. Gosh, this energy is very harsh. You've kind of got a um, harshness going on over here. You could be dealing with an individual that is... Um, interrupting you while you work or something like this. I just feel like you're kind of trying to deal with, uh, you know, work and yourself and your emotions. You feel very busy in your head over here. And, um, okay, and they could be just waiting for you to kind of figure it out and get your stuff together here. Another card for who Scorpio's dealing with. All right. The Herald font. Oh, could be dealing with a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. But this individual definitely... Um, if you were kind of having a, some arguments with them, I think that cycle is going to change. You guys might, may enter. And again, there's a healing that's happening with you both individually and together. And I think they may want to, this person sees you, they, they're very traditional in the way that they do things. You know, they may, if for, if this is a male, they're very, um, they're very much a gentleman and they, they have a set way they view relationship roles. But I do feel as if they want a commitment with you. They want 
a relationship with you. Um, I keep wanting to say firm. Somebody's very firm here. Yeah, so I'm sensing it's like, I feel like you're the more wishy-washy one, to be honest. This is very straightforward. They like you. But they're very, and then they're passionate. They're, yeah. I I get traveling. I keep wanting to say they're coming to you. They are, they're coming, they're coming. They want this relationship. You are a wish fulfillment. And they are your wish fulfillment. So I don't know what you're all buggered out about here over Scorpio. Are you busy? Does some, is there somebody that you're taking care of or helping with something that's causing you to be a little bit overloaded? I don't know. But um, essentially, they seem to think pretty well of you. So, so yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I have for you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.